Okay, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to start with the circle up here because that is what the steps tell us to do. So I'm starting by just drawing a circle that's not perfect, but it's big enough to fill most of the center of the rectangle here. Then we're gonna add this line up here that looks like a rainbow over the circle, and I'm simply following the squares up here. Then I'm gonna add this kind of smiley face line here underneath. Then underneath the smiley face line, I'm on step four already. I'm just gonna connect here with this line that kind of zigzags in. All right. Now I'm gonna add another kind of rainbow line on top. I'm gonna darken this area on top. It just looks like it's filled in a little bit. So I'm just gonna darken that with my pencil. I can go back in and if I choose to sharpie it later, that's fine. All right, moving right along. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some eyelashes. Right here. And it's totally up to you if you want to add eyelashes or not. Okay. Already over here, last to step, second, last step. Second to last step. Adding some more eyelashes. It looks like we're filling some in down here at the bottom. Okay, here's the part where you may need to listen to some helpful hints. So now we have the eye, the pupil, which is the black dot, and then the iris. The iris is the color part of the eye, and in this case, that is what the color wheel is made up of or that, that's what makes up the color wheel is the iris part. So we're not gonna do the pupil first like we'd normally do, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little dot here in the middle. We need to make 12 sections, and I know that because the color wheel, including the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors has 12 sections. So I'm gonna draw 12 lines. One down the middle, and I'm just using the dot, not as my pupil, but just as like a center point, so I know where the center is to draw my lines to make sections. All right, now I'm gonna think of one, each piece of, I'm just gonna number these so we have four sections right now. I'm gonna each label each, I'm gonna think of each of these sections like a piece of pizza or pie. I'm going to put just like a little dashed line that's spread out equally in both, in all four of those pieces of pie. I am going to connect, now watch this first. In section two and three, I'm going to connect these two lines, make sure they go through the center, they intersect like that. Then I'm gonna connect these two, make sure they go through the center like that. All right, now over here, same thing. I wanna make sure that these go through the center and intersect. So I'm going to double count to make sure I have 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So hopefully that is helpful in teaching you how to equally divide a circle into 12 equal sections or parts. And then the rest is to sharpie your pencil lines, erase any pencil lines that you may see, and then color in that baby using the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. So to start with, I'm going to label one of the top ones with an R. Leave one, two, three slices blank. And then the next, the fourth one would be the, um, the Y for yellow. Leave one, two, three, blank. The fourth one will be B for blue. Then we're gonna skip every other one for the secondary color. So this is blank, this is O. Go to the Y. The next one will be blank. This one will be G for green. B for blue, leave a space. We're gonna do uh, P for purple. All right, now red plus O orange equals red orange in the center. Y plus O equals yellow orange. 
y plus g equals yellow green. Notice the primary color is always the first color. g plus blue, b equals blue green or bg. b plus p equals blue purple. And p plus r equals rp for red purple. And that's it.